Hello, my name's Nathan Wright. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Darwin, and my mob is Jawan and Alparulam. I started comedy last year. Uh, my drama teacher entered me into Class Clowns, and then she told me about it, so I had to do it. She obviously saw something in me that I didn't. I did the competition, first time ever doing stand-up comedy, and I came second. I went to Adelaide Fringe uh, last month with a crew called Deadly Darwin, and we did six shows. It just meant a lot to be able to go over to Adelaide and perform. It, it's, it's addicting, you know? <laughs> I feel nervous. <laughs> this is the biggest venue I've ever performed at, and I honestly just can't wait to do it. I genuinely can't. <laughs> Give it up for our next act, Nathan Wright! Oh my goodness, look at you all! <laughs> All right, now before I start, can I get serious with you guys for a moment? Is that all right? Yeah. All right, cool, thank you. <laughs> now, uh, I do have something I want to get off my chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm that comedian. It's too late, you're already paid. <laughs> but hello, my name's Nathan Wright. I'm 18 and single. So, if any of you cougars want to buy me a drink after the show, please don't hesitate. The day is young and so am I. I'm trying to walk out of here with a stepmom. I'm just kidding, my mum's in the audience. But uh, I've just started comedy. I I've just... I've just started doing it. And one thing that I've always been struggling with is I've always struggled to connect to my audience. I struggle with it, man. I, I don't have stories, you know? I, I'm not that old, I'm young, man. You know, I don't have common sense, that sort of shit, you know? <laughs> but, you know, let's face it as well, all of yous are old. <laughs> let's not sugarcoat it. <laughs> the 80s was 40 years ago. The 90s was 30. How was the moon landing? Yeah. <laughs> but I want to tell you guys the story about the day I became a man. Because as we all know, once you turn 18, you automatically become a man. I mean, not in my case. Look at me. I look like a cricket with acne. <laughs> <laughs> but one time I was getting ready for a show. And uh, I was putting on my... Um, Clothes. I was putting on my clothes. Forgot the word clothes. <laughs> Isn't it lucky I didn't forget clothes today? <laughs> and if I did, you all lucky I'm 18. Because <laughs> otherwise you'd be on a register. <laughs> but I was getting ready for a show and I was putting on my clothes. I put on my left shoe. Left shoe was fine. I put on my right shoe, felt something in it. But I brushed it off, whatever. It's a rock, you know? And I went out to the living room where my mum was. I went to go give her a big hug and a kiss, uh, like any man would. And again, I feel something in my shoe. And I know it's not a rock because it's moving. So I decide to flick off my shoe. And I look down at my foot. And what I see is a cockroach about that big. So I recently turned 18. I'm nearly a man. What the fuck do I do? <laughs> so I decide I'm going to hand handle this. Sensibly, I decide I'm going to handle this like a man, and I flick it on my mum. <laughs> that day I became a man. <laughs> but every story has a moral, and this one does. It's that wherever you go, whatever you do, check your shoe because there might be something there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Happy Nathan Wright!